EEG is uh, electroencephalography. So electro e encephalography. It's like the equivalent of doing an ECG of the heart, recording the heart function, but of the brain. Which kind of patients do we have that we request an EEG on? They are the ones who have epileptic seizures to try and find out what kind of seizures they get or in whom you're working out if uh, they have a particular kind of seizure. Okay, and that's who we request EEGs on. The thing about anything that makes you black out is that it doesn't happen very frequently. Okay, uh, there are some people who do get frequent blackouts, but some don't. It is very unlikely that you're going to capture someone having a seizure or fainting at that time when you're doing a 20 minute EEG in the clinic. This is where our new service comes in. This is where someone is admitted for a period of days with the EEG on throughout and seeing what happens when they have their blackout, be it a seizure or otherwise. How does one determine why someone is blacking out? Okay, The diagnosis of someone having a seizure, which is abnormal discharges from the brain, is purely from the description of what happens during the event, from the person plus witnesses. However, sometimes we don't have that much information. For example, someone is having seizures, or what we think are seizures, or blacking out, but they're all alone. They live alone, for example, or it's only happening at night. Or we are not sure what the diagnosis is. The descriptions are vague or not reliable. But this person continues to black out. So what we do is, in a situation where we know someone is getting blackouts but we don't know the cause and they're frequent enough, we can admit them to this room and see what happens, both on the video but also on the EEG. Whenever they have the blackout, be it a seizure or otherwise, are there abnormal discharges happening at the same time?